What's up guys? So today we're going to be going after the Kobe 6 scrunches on Foot Locker. There is roughly about 3,000 pairs loaded onto this site, so resale is going to be four to six hundred dollars. Uh, I will be running Kodai and Cyber for this drop, but depending on how recaptures get, I might just rely heavily on Kodai. Um, I don't know how this drop's going to go, but it is going to be a really hard drop, so hopefully I come out with at least one pair. But I'm not getting my hopes up, so let's just get into the drop. We got one. Holy shit, we got one. Oh my gosh. Should I just stop now? Like, I don't think we're gonna get another pair because they're so limited. No way! We got another one! Size 11. Big dubs today, big dubs. I'm happy, I'm happy already. So, today's gonna be a good day. Christmas Eve. So this drop was as expected. Not many people got through, and those who did cop got around one to four pairs on average. Uh, I did notice after a drop, Foot Locker did re-release or restock some of the older Kobe's. So I missed out on that because I was solving captures the whole time. Um, Kodai did do well for me. I was able to get two pairs, so I am happy about that. But since Footsight switched back to reCAPTCHA, I just have to solve everything. So I can't really take my eyes off of the captures because I have to solve it then and there. Next time I might try to use 2CAPTCHA to test them out. 2CAPTCHA is an automated service that allows you to send them your captures and someone in the back end solves them for you and then sends it back. 2CAPTCHA is really cheap. It's about a thousand solves for only about like a dollar. So it's not really risky to go into. As of right now, I'm still using just manual solving, which is pretty annoying. So for the Yeezy 700 drop, I thought I started OBS, but I didn't, so I wasn't able to record the live cop. But I did in fact use Cyber, and I had about 15 checkouts uh, all right here, but about three of them got canceled from Kith because Kith cancels multiple orders all the time. So we were able to get some in. I did get about uh, three pairs in before the holiday season. So um, that's pretty good, the clays. So this shoe does remind me of the Yeezy 350s that dropped about a couple years ago. Uh, it was the Black Friday pack, the brown stripe one. It does have gum soles and also right here you have 3M hits which is pretty cool. So if you did cop and you got a good size, I would think about holding it for a couple months. If not, just quick sell it. No big deal. We also got in three pairs of the 350 sand topes which I'm not a big fan of either. They are these earth clay looking Yeezys. Um, they have the clay accent right here and the earth brown all over. So the final shoe I got this week was a hard top. Um, it is the Stussy Air Force Ones. These are a pretty great shoe. I am keeping for personal, so I'm gonna be rocking these and I won't be selling, but the detail on them, crazy. 
they did release this colorway only on the Stussy website. They did release the black colorway on all the Shopify sites and also sneakers app. But this cream shoe is just way too hard to pass up on. Like, it's so easy to rock, it's so clean, but it will get dirty really easily. So if you're like me and don't really care about that, I would definitely pick one up. So to wrap things up, I will be announcing a giveaway soon once I reach a certain milestone. I wanna thank everyone for watching my videos and subscribing. It means a lot seeing the growth on my channel only after two videos. So hopefully we can grow bigger and better as a community and I will be putting out videos that aren't just live cops coming out. So happy holidays, spend time with your family and friends and don't stress too much. Next year is gonna be a lot better.